here, Miss M, and I'm back with another video, just giving you my no makeup slash makeup tutorial. As you can see, my eyebrows are already done. I'm just setting them with my Milani brow, brow Gel in medium brown. Now I'm going to go in and set my face with my Laura Mercier setting powder in deep. Thank you to all my subscribers for returning and to all my newbies, welcome. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Don't forget to just leave any questions that you may have for me down at the bottom. Now I'm going to go in with my NYX Concealer Corrector Contour Palette. I'm using that as both my foundation and my concealer for today. This is a look that I've just been rocking on a regular lately and it literally only takes me 15 minutes to achieve this look. So I really do enjoy wearing this look. It's less product so, and it, it, it really lasts throughout the day, I must say, because I did a lot in one day with this makeup look, and it really did last. I blotted my face maybe twice, so I'm just going to go in and apply that to my face. Now, I'm going to go in with my Mario Basha water and just spray that over my face because the, the cream concealer is very thick. So this helps me just to blend out the product over my face and just give me a great even balance of skin tone. Now with that blended out, I'm going to go back in with that same palette and use it for concealer. And I also spray my brush using that same Basha water to help apply the concealer to my face. As you can see, I am using a beauty blender to blend it out. Now with it all blended out, I'm going to go in and set my under eye in everywhere else where I have added concealer. And I'm going to use my NYX Mineralize Powder with my Laura Mercier Powder in Deep. I like blending these two together because of the natural color that it gives off. So I really enjoy wearing this powder this way. Now I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Powder and just set the areas that I did not bake. And I just received this powder in the mail and already I can tell that I'm going to enjoy using this powder. Just going to dust off any excess powder from under my eye and over my mouth, down the bridge of my nose. Now I'm going in with my Black Radiant and Ebony and just going to bronze up the face. And I'm using my Wet and Wow. It's a fan brush, but I prefer to use it to apply my bronzer. I'm also going to bronze down the bridge, of my, my, the bridge of my nose. And I'm also going to use this as a crease color just to add some color back to the eyelids. This is uh, a BH Cosmetics brush. I really love using this brush to contour my nose with. I love this brush. It was a gift from my sister. Thank you, Sissy. Now 
Now I'm going to apply some Maybelline Fit Me blush in the number 45. It is the name is Plum Plum something. <laughs> I don't have it in front of me right now. But it is such a beautiful everyday blush. I really love wearing this blush. To me, it's like really, really neutral. Now I'm going to go in with an oldie but goodie, my Global Glow by MAC. This is the first highlighter I ever owned. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline. Big Shot Mascara. I can't wait to get my hands on the Maybelline Black is Black by Makeup Shayla. Uh, congratulations to her and her collab with Maybelline. Many, many blessings over her and her family. So I'm just going to apply that to my lashes because I'm not going to wear my um, fake lashes today. And right here I look like a hippie. I really love the look. Now I'm just using my MAC Lip Liner um, Chestnut. I did a lot, add a wing liner and line my waterline. This is a lipstick that was in my sister. One of her subscriptions that she get monthly. I don't really know the name by heart. Now I'm just going to set my face. And here's the finished product. Again, thank you for watching. Love you. God bless.